Dr. Graham Melville. <laughs> All right, so uh, I want to talk a little bit about electricity. And as people probably know from high school and maybe university and all this sort of stuff, there are two types of electricity. One of them is static electricity, and one of them is current or dynamic electricity. Now, I'm just going to brush uh, people up with a bit of knowledge on static electricity, which means charges uh, move uh, maybe a short distance or not at all. So I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit about that. Okay, so um, we've seen the idea about getting a pen, rubbing the end of the pen and picking up a little bit of paper. Okay, that's pretty lame, something you do when you're about eight years of age. Um, some people may not have seen this one though. Now in science, uh, when you want to do an experiment, you should make a prediction and you should also try to explain the prediction. So everyone can make it funnier when it doesn't work, which will probably happen tonight. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a can here. Um, and I'm going to, no, it actually lies that way. Where, where can I put a people can see? Here, can you see that one? Alright, I'm going to put that one out of there. And I'm going to actually... This is on. This is on the. Uh, this is on the ground. So I'm going to get some charge in this thing here. So let's say I'm rubbing this thing. Let's say it becomes positive. Now, does anyone actually know what's going to happen when I move it towards this thing over here? It's already starting to shake. It's probably a bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> right. Three possibilities. One, nothing will happen. Two, it may go towards this magic wand. You should never use it as a scientist. Should have magic. Um, or it may actually go off the table and then in someone's lap. Okay, so I'm going to charge this thing up here. I'm rubbing uh, silk against Perspex rod. Okay, so if I do this, this can. Oh. And to make it go back, I'm using one of those uh, energy drinks which has a large surface. They've got plenty of electrons in there. And I bring it back again. It's dumping across really quickly. Okay, so that was uh, pretty good. Um, so what was happening there is the electrons, all around the metals, uh, metals have a sea of electrons. They will move towards the side which is close to this uh, charge here. So if this is positive, the electrons will move uh, to the right hand side of the can and be attracted towards the uh, perspex rod. Okay, so the other thing I can do with that is set this thing up, which needs a bit of coordination, which I don't know how good mine is tonight, but put one here. Now I'm gonna have a competition between diet coke and normal coke. <laughs> That's pretty good. He hasn't had any beer. Is that true? Okay, so... <laughs> which part? Fifth Amendment. Alright, so I do the same sort of thing. I rub this thing here. I'm going to go... The coat's closest to me. So what's going to happen on this one? Okay, now what I will do is Warwick, my assistant here, uh, he drinks Diet Coke, I drink Coke. So, Warwick, choose your weapon. Now, Warwick's going to use that cloth there and he's going to make it go any clockwise. Okay? So, I'm going to just put this a bit closer towards Warwick. Around this side here. Alright, Warwick will stand over here. So, Warwick will put the thing here. Put it on this side in a minute. Not yet. Wait for it. You have to have instructions there. Uh, on this side, in a minute, and may it go any clockwise. However, this is going to be a competition between Diet Coke and Coke. Uh, uh, to make it fair... Okay, hang on a sec. 
touching a power point, a lot of power points are about 10 amps, you can be killed if you did that unless you have a safety switch. In the United States they have a lower voltage but they have a higher current. So in uh, Australia people die from electrocution, in the United States they die more from house fires and things like that, so it evens out. Okay, so, you Demonstrating the two here, so what I have is a small current, right? a large current, a small voltage, and a large voltage holding it further up. The analogy between electricity and water. Um, so if I want to get a large current and a high voltage, I won't do it. I can pour it from up here, I've got a high voltage, a high potential difference. And I'll, if I pour it fast, this is just water, doesn't matter if I waste it, then I will get um, a very high uh, current as well. Now, what I've also got here is a thing called a handheld Tesla coil. This thing operates at about 40,000 volts, although the current is relatively small, although it will give you a good sap. Now, it's on a frequency of about 1 megahertz. That's 1 with 6 zeros, that's uh, 1 million. Um, uh, it oscillates at 1 million times per second as against normal electricity that we have. So current at this frequency would normally just go across your skin and normally it's about, uh, depending on humidity and stuff, it's about uh, um, 20,000 volts per centimetre. So if I turn this thing on here... <laughs> And what happens here is things which are insulators become, suddenly become, that's going straight through the wood there. Uh, there's electricity going across there. That's about 40,000 volts, probably two or three centimetres all the way along there. 40,000 volts. Give you quite a zap, but it won't kill you. Okay. Now, um, worry? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Move. <laughs> uh, it's a bit hard to see in here, so I need an extra light. Uh, okay. So I'm going to do a bit higher. Okay, put it back a bit, like this there. Now, I can actually squeeze the light out of this tube here. Squeeze. That's why it's so hard to do. Uh, there. 